For some reason, I keep thinking about Atlantis. Don't watch this video if you're not open-minded. A lot of people are saying we are in Atlantis, and this is the old world. The civilization of Atlantis existed for thousands of years, and it was the entire world. It was not just an island out there. Which makes sense because there are pyramids that are all over the world that align with the same star system. Giza, Mexico, China. I'm a strong believer that there are portals around this planet and they knew how to use them to build these pyramids. That's why so many around the world. I'm pretty sure y'all saw this video. But nobody go through it. Did you know that you could walk through the Grand Canyon and if you keep walking through the Grand Canyon, your ass will end up in Africa, nigga. There are Egyptian relics, hieroglyphics, artifacts, mummies in America because they were here. You ever wonder why it was so important for them to suppress this information for a century? Pyramids in Antarctica, Illinois. There are places in America that is restricted. The Hoover Dam, and we know the Grand Canyon and plenty of more spaces. The largest pyramid to ever be built is in America. The Atlanteans understood the energy of this planet and they knew how to manipulate it. Notice that there are weird levels of energy, like the Bermuda Triangle that makes things disappear. I told you they restrict off these high level energetic places. I find it funny that one of the Egyptian gods has the head of an animal that's native to America. The Ibis. Rashad Jamal also goes to say that the 33rd parallel was the capital of Atlantis, which is in Atlanta, Georgia. It's called Atlanta. It is for the 33rd parallel, which is one of the most powerful veins on the planet because this was the capital of our realm, Atlantis. Our capital stretch, nigga. It, it was all of Georgia, all of Florida. Can't stretch this enough, do your own research. I feel though that America is the old world. Now watch this. It is said that Atlantis went down in a flood. In America, it shows water erosion in the Grand Canyon. For underneath the water, that means that this place was underneath water. The Great Flood, the rocks are red. When the, when the water oxygenates the sediments, they turn red. Now I need you to watch this. Whenever Atlantis went down, a lot of them, some of them went to Egypt, the one survivors, and some of them went to Egypt. I'm sorry, I just need to hear it one more time. Some of them went to Egypt, the one survivors, and to other places. Y'all do what y'all want. I'm just connecting my thoughts. Notice how she says they went to Egypt, and they had powers to build such monuments. Move stone. This is where the pyramids and everything were developed later, were by the survivors of the Atlant of Atlantis, who still carried the knowledge of how this was done. Put two and two together yourself, and y'all have a good day. Just so you know, these blinds been closed. Stay dangerous, y'all. Now that you over here on YouTube, I find it very funny that there are people that are claiming they're the descendants of ancient Egyptians. This is what the ancient Egyptians would actually look like. Dark-skinned, olive-toned, like myself. So, hey, if the Atlanteans were the descendants of the pyramid builders, y'all stay dangerous.